This is going to be a technical case study of uh, how we leverage this uh, couch base uh, in our company in order to achieve a scalable and fast ad serving architecture. Okay, so uh, a little about me. Uh, my name is uh, Amiram Shahar. I'm from uh, Wybrand Digital. I'm leading the DevOps uh, group in Wybrand. Uh, in my past role, I was in the Army in Mamram. I served with uh, Raz here and Daniel. Uh, I'm an also a uh, fresh uncle. So I'm uh, a uh, Just became an uncle two days ago. Very exciting. It's working now. Thank you. Okay, so a little bit about uh, Wybrand's diversification. Um, we have uh, three operational HQ located uh, first in Israel. We have also one uh, HQ in Argentina for LATAM and uh, one HQ in uh, India. Uh, our company activity is uh, spread among 50 markets. Uh, we are the exclusive representative of uh, Microsoft advertising in LATAM in Argentina. Um, and we have, and we are partners of uh, um, uh, of, uh, uh, top, uh, of uh, top companies like uh, Yahoo, Facebook, and uh, AppNexus. Okay, so uh, who are we, and where is Vibrant Digital located in the ecosystems of advertising? Uh, from uh, one hand, we have uh, the publishers, the, the guys who have uh, assets, web assets, and on the other hand, we have uh, advertisers, campaigns, and what we do best is to bring the right audience uh, for our advertisers, uh, as well as increase the revenue for our site owners. And uh, all of that we're doing across many platforms. Vibrant work, works among many platforms. As you see display, this is the banners that you, sh that you see in uh, uh, web pages, uh, social like Facebook, uh, mobile, whether it's uh, mobile apps or mobile web, surf uh, web, uh, web surfing. Uh, video and search like Google. And I'm going to talk about one product of ours, uh, which is called OneTag. And uh, what is OneTag? OneTag uh, product is aimed to manage and, and, uh, and optimize all our media. As you can see, uh, you can consider OneTag as a junction uh, among, uh, between uh, our supply media and our advertisers and campaigns. And we know to decide in real time which ad should be shown to the relevant users on real time. Uh, what OneTag is providing, uh, self-publishers registrations like a one st uh, a shop, a stop shop for publishers. Uh, publishers can uh, register in our website, get tags from, uh, from uh, OneTag, and start to be a partners of ours. Uh, we also see in, uh, in uh, OneTag as a productivity booster for our campaign managers and account managers. And also, it has a smart optimization engine behind the scenes. OK, so now let's get into uh, technical uh, details of, uh, and how is uh, Couchbase is connected to, to all this story. Um, OK, so we started from the first generation of OneTag. Uh, OneTag originated uh, uh, six years ago, uh, and it developed uh, in C code. Uh, this code was uh, uh, old and unsupported. Uh, all the developers that developed OneTag already left the company or switched positions. Uh, it has many data leaks. Uh, it was uh, non-scalable. We could scale up, but not scale out. Uh, we had like a campaign limit. With, it was hard-coded uh, uh, in our C code. And uh, we had, it, it required heavy maintenance every day just in order to keep it alive. So uh, when we built the second generation of OneTag, uh, this was the standards of, making, of, of achieving our goal, which was fast, scalable, and, uh, uh, and, and, uh, and simple. Uh, we invested a lot of, in performance and scalability. We wanted it to be uh, easy to operate and use. Uh, we tried to code it as flexible and as modular that we could. And, it, and we wanted it to be uh, cloud-oriented architecture. OK, so as you can see, cloud was really the key for us. Um, we consider cloud as a, as a critical tool uh, for a fast-growing company if you want to, uh, uh, to react fast to your business needs. If you want to grow as your business grows, uh, you, must, uh, 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 you must move quickly, and you must use another's pers another people's innovation like AWS services in order to implement your solutions and to make your dreams come true. 
So uh, take a look at the, the architecture. Um, we are basically we are using Couchbase uh, for our inventory. We are placing all our inventory inside of Couchbase. Um, as you can see, all data flows from uh, Elastic Load Balancers of Amazon, and it uh, crawls and it uh, flows across uh, three different availability zones. And not only that, it crosses uh, among uh, three different availability zones. Uh, we have the uh, we have the feature of scaling out and shrinking um, as the grows as the load increases or decreases. We have auto scaling groups in every in each every availability zone. Also, the layer that uh, underneath the the web layer, which is the online algorithm, is the couch base. Um, the couch base is also spread among uh, three different availability zones. Uh, as you can see, we managed to achieve it uh, with uh, VPC segmentations. Um, and uh, another feature that uh, we have in this architecture is logging every impression into ephemeral storage, which is IO3, I will talk about it later. Um, uh, and uh, all these uh, uh, web logs are shipping uh, through Logstash into Elasticsearch cluster for real-time log management. After that, all the data is being processed into Hadoop, being processed uh, uh, with Impala, and then uh, flowing into the Oracle in optimization and uh, an optimization process and goes again to the couch base. So uh, why we, uh, we chose couch base? So it was clear for us that we are going to use NoSQL. Uh, we had good interaction and good experience with NoSQL databases like, uh, like CouchDB. Uh, couch base is scalable, is highly scalable. Uh, the performance that uh, we saw uh, when we did the sizing was really good. It requires commodity hardware, and our commodity hardware is not a Fusion I.O. servers. Our commodity hardware is like M1 Excel servers. And, um, and one last thing, it was the service. We got a very good service from uh, Zaponet and also from Perry. Very helped us uh, when we did the sizing and all along the way that we built the architecture. Um, I would like to share also with you a few tips uh, from our journey. Use AWS ephemeral storage. It's IO free. As you know, in AWS, you're paying for every single IOPS that you're doing. Uh, but if you're using ephemeral storage, you won't pay. So every single impression was not logged into the couch base. It was clear to us from day one that we're not going to write every impression to the couch base. If you're going to write every impression to the couch base, uh, so you won't get the beneficials out of couch base. Uh, so uh, we're just writing it into ephemeral storage which is really fast, uh, IO free, and from this ephemeral storage, we shipped it into uh, real-time log management. Use Couchbase on uh, SSDs or uh, EBS uh, with a rate of 10, but uh, I don't want to stress you to use the only SSDs. The only reason to, uh, uh, to get SSD is that you can get SSD in the same price as you can get another instance, and on the other hand, if an instance failed, you don't really need the data that's inside their instance. You just spin another one and insert it into the cluster. Also, we managed to, uh, to achieve uh, the I availability using the VPC segmentation of Amazon. And we also leverage the counter increase, which is an atomic operations of, uh, of Couchbase. Here I'll show you a little example about how we saved a third of our uh, IOPS operation only by design of the code. Uh, in normal cases, if you want to uh, select a document, then you're doing the first operation. The second operation will do selecting the counter of the document, and the third operation will be increasing the document, the document counter. So we have here, on every impression, three I.O. operations. So, and what we did, in fact, the first operation was getting the document, Second operation was increasing the counter, and while increasing the counter, getting by value, getting uh, the, the new counter's value. This is how we saved uh, the third IOPS, and when it gets to million operations in second, you're saving third of your usage, third of your IOPS, and third of your uh, capacity that you need in Couchbase. Also, we are using, uh, for the real-time log management, we're using Kibana project, uh, this is a very interesting project. You should read about it. Uh, we're using Elasticsearch behind of this. Um, autoscale by design. Uh, it's not a simple thing to achieve autoscale in Amazon. 
It's not like a right click out of scale. You need to, you need to, uh, to work hard on that when you're uh, building the architecture. You need to take the specific layer that you want to out of scale uh, and to build it in such a way. Uh, we are also using spot instances of Amazon, uh, which is a real time bidding on the instances. And uh, this is how we manage to uh, save 70% uh, of our expenses uh, only using uh, spot instances. We're paying um, a 0 0.1 of its original uh, price of instance when we're working with, uh, uh, with uh, spot instances. And also monitoring, monitoring, monitoring. Uh, our team is very uh, uh, monitoring oriented. Uh, this is a view about the real-time log management that I was talking about. You can see, I can see in every single moment what is happening with my traffic, from which browser, how many HTTP requests, from which country. I can just press on the country here, and I can see exactly how many users I have from this country right now. Also, we have another dashboard for analysis. Uh, we can search uh, group by campaign, slice and dice the data in order to find frauds, in order to find uh, uh, discrepancies, uh, uh, if there are. Also, you can see, about, uh, you can see the, our traffic pattern. Uh, we can have uh, constant high traffic for several hours, and you can see um, suddenly a publisher sign up and starting to bring traffic, and we need to react fast. This is our, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, screenshots from our elastic load balancers. You can see that uh, we have like uh, constant traffic, and here a publisher is sign up and starting to send traffic, and we need to react. The Couchbase should react. And the goal, the target, when we designed the system, the target was to, to keep the latency as low as we can. You can see our latency is constant. It's 0 0.0035, which is, and the latency is the time from the second, from the millisecond uh, that uh, a user requested an ad. It flows through the load balancer, um, got into the impression server, geotargeting, campaign selection from the couch base, getting the user profile, the optional profitability of the user, serving the ad, and all that for every single impression in less than 0 0.0035 um, seconds. You can see how does the, the Couchbase handle this. The Couchbase uses all the RAM that he can, of course, and our uh, 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 cache miss ratio is zero, totally zero right now because we are not using any of the disks. All the data is loaded into the memory. And you can see that the Couchbase is not a CPU, uh, uh, CPU uh, a consumer. Um, also, I would like to share uh, difficulties that uh, we have encountered along the way. Um, swapping, uh, starting up instances uh, from Amazon, you, you don't, uh, get any, you're not getting it with uh, a swap space. And if you're working with a Couchbase without any swap space, the instances will just crash. And here is an uh, uh, original screenshot from uh, our Linux logs about crashing because of swapping. Connection pooling. Uh, we did a mistake uh, by, con by doing a connection every time we did an impression. We tried to create a connection to the couch base, um, which was wrong, because on every time that you're doing the connection to the couch base, you're getting the cluster topology, which is a uh, heavy operation. So uh, once we, we implemented the connection pooling, uh, we have improved dramatically uh, the latency and the stability of the system. It was like a hectic week until we did it. And uh, we are writing our code in C to get best uh, performance. And I, and I must tell that the C code the documentation is very uh, uh, not so common as Java and PHP in OJS. And also we found out that uh, uh, heavy, uh, heavy writes to Couchbase uh, is, uh, um, is causing uh, latency. Benefits out of the new uh, architectures. Uh, heavy like it can uh, interrupt uh, dramatically to the latency, like very spikes in the latency. Um, you're asking about how many writes I did? Or how many? Uh, we did every document of ours, uh, um, the weight is like uh, 1K. 1K less than 1K, and we uh, uh, tried to write more than uh, 20 Ks, 20K uh, documents per second, and it causes uh, a high latency. So we reduced the, the, the uh, uh, how uh, we reduced the, 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 the amount, and uh, the latency get back to normal. 
high latency is when we see that in milliseconds, more than uh, 0 0.009. This is high latency for us. For us. Seconds. Yes, seconds. Seconds. Yes. This is uh, high latency because we are in the online serving. Uh, every milliseconds is uh, is like a uh, uh, it's like a, a gold, and uh, we need to keep it. We need to keep it as low as possible. Uh, connection pooling. Sorry. Um, Connection pooling, I can consider it as a benefit also, uh, because once you're implementing connection pooling, you will get the best performance out of Couchbase. Uh, and I must say that, that is, it is stable, 100%, uh, uh, no downtime uh, since we started to work with it. How this affected the business? Uh, so campaign limit is, of course, gone. Uh, minimum data leaks, and the user trust is uh, back in the system. Um, our future roadmap is uh, migrating more NoSQL uh, architectures uh, that we have in the company to Couchbase, um, and of course, evaluating the nickel uh, uh, ability. Uh, that's all. I hope it was uh, uh, quite clear. Lots of, uh, of information in a very short time. I would like to answer for of your questions. <laughs>